The political situation in Halamshiral hangs by thread. The Empress fears our presence could sever it. The Grand Duke is only too happy to have us at the ball as his guests, so our invitation comes from him. Whether we act as his allies or upset the balance of power, he gains an opportunity, if not a clear advantage. Inquisitor Trevelyan, it is an honor to meet you at last. The rumors coming out of the Western Approach say you battled an army of demons. Imagine what the Inquisition could accomplish with the full support of the rightful Emperor of Orlais. Which one was the rightful one again? I keep getting them confused. If we keep watch, he may appear. Probably by the brandy. <laughs> I am not a man who forgets his friends, Inquisitor. You help me, I'll help you. Prepared to shock the assembly by appearing as the guest of a hateful usurper, my lord? They will be telling stories of this into the next age. There's a Tevinter assassin on the loose, Gaspard. Finding him is my priority. Are you serious? That is a grave allegation, my friend. A foreign power meddling now, of all times? I have no doubt this Tevinter is hiding within the ranks of the Elven delegation. They're up to something. My people have found these ambassadors all over the fortifications. Sabotage seems the least of their crimes. That sounds like something I should look into. Be as discreet as possible. I detest the game, but if we do not play it well, our enemies will make us look like villains. We're keeping the court waiting, Inquisitor. Shall we? Inquisitor, a moment, if you please. I must warn you before you go inside. How you speak to the court is a matter of life and death. It is no simple matter of etiquette and protocol. Every word, every gesture is measured and evaluated for weakness. Don't they sound delightful? I'm shocked we haven't invited the court to dinner at Skyhold. The game is like wicked grace played to the death. You must never reveal your cards. When you meet the Empress, the eyes of the entire court will be upon you. You were safer in the Fade with the Fear Demon. Might be a good idea for the others to hear this warning. Cassandra is usually not the subtle or cautious type. I'll have a few discreet words. Everything will be fine. And Rasta watch over us all. And now presenting Grand Duke Gaspard de Chalon, and accompanying him, Lord Inquisitor Trevelyan of the Austric Circle of Magi. Shepherd and leash of the Wayward Order of Templars, purger of the heretics from the ranks of the faithful. This guy writes better fiction than I do. Champion of the Blessed Andraste herself. <laughs> Did you see their faces? Priceless. Accompanying the Inquisitor, Seeker, Cassandra, Allegra, Portia, Calogera, Philomena. Get on with it. Pantagast, 14th cousin to the King of Navarra, nine times removed, hero of Orlais. Right Hand of the Divine. Renowned author, Beric Thethrys. Head of Noble House Thethrys, Desher of Kirkwall to the Dwarven Merchants Guild. Lord Dorian Pavis, 
member of the Circle of Arantium, son of Lord Magister Hallwood Pavus of Azariel, Sir Callum Stanton Rutherford of Homley, commander of the forces of the Inquisition, former Knight Commander of Kirkwall, Lady Liliana, Nightingale of the Imperial Court, veteran of the Fifth Flight, Seneschal of the Inquisition, and left hand of the divine, and Lady Josephine Charette Montillier of Antiva City, ambassador of the Inquisition. Cousin, my dear sister. Grand Duke, we are always honored when your presence graces our court. Don't waste my time with pleasantries, Céline. We have business to conclude. We will meet for the negotiations after we have seen to our other guests. Inquisitor? Lord Inquisitor, we welcome you to the Winter Palace. Allow us to present our cousin, the Grand Duchess of Leeds, without whom this gathering would never have been possible. What an unexpected pleasure. I was not aware the Inquisition would be part of our festivities. We will certainly speak later, Inquisitor. Your arrival at court is like a cool wind on a summer's day. I'm delighted to be here, Your Majesty. We have heard much of your exploits, Inquisitor. They have made grand tales for long evenings. How do you find Halam Shiral? I have no words to suffice. Halam Shiral has many beauties, and I couldn't do them justice. Your modesty does you credit, and speaks well for the Inquisition. Feel free to enjoy the pleasures of the ballroom, Inquisitor. We look forward to watching you dance. Inquisitor, a word when you have a moment. Good. I was hoping it would catch you. What did the Duke say? He points the finger at Ambassador Briala. The Ambassador is up to something, but she can't be our focus. The best place to strike at Céline is from her side. Empress Céline is fascinated by mysticism. Foreseeing the future, speaking with the dead, that sort of rubbish. She has an occult advisor. An apostate who charmed the Empress and key members of the court as if by magic. I've had dealings with her in the past. She is ruthless and capable of anything. How can Céline openly keep an apostate in the Imperial Court? The Imperial Court has always had an official position for a mage. Before now, it was little better than Court Jester. Vivian was the first to turn that appointment into a source of real political power. When the Circles rebelled, technically every mage became an apostate. The word lost much of its strength. You think she's controlling the minds of the Court? That's powerful blood magic. She's worth investigating. Can't be sure of anything here. Both leads point toward the guest wing. It's a promising place to start. I'll coordinate with our spies to see if I can find anything better. I will be in the ballroom if you need me. My lord! My lord Inquisitor! May we have a word? It is very important. The Empress has sent us with a message for you. How can I be certain this message is from the Empress? We three wear the masks of House Valmont. They signify that we are public faces of the Empress. They are also extremely fashionable. I'm always honored to hear from Her Majesty. Oh, she is the honored one, Inquisitor. Empress Céline is eager to assist the Herald of Andraste in his holy endeavor. She will pledge her full support to the Inquisition as soon as the usurper Gaspar is defeated. Let me guess. All she wants in return is for me to help her defeat the Duke. Oh, this is not meant as a bargain by any means, Inquisitor. The support of the Empress is not conditional. It will be yours once the negotiations are concluded. 
The Empress is the most skilled diplomat in Thedas. Gaspar is hopelessly out of his depth. But we have taken enough of your time. Please, enjoy the masquerade, Inquisitor. Well, well. What have we here? The leader of the new Inquisition, fabled herald of the faith. Delivered from the grasp of the Fade by the hand of blessed Andraste herself. What could bring such an exalted creature here to the Imperial Court, I wonder? Do even you know? We may never know. Courtly intrigues and all that. Such intrigues obscure much, but not all. I am Morrigan. Some call me advisor to Empress Selene on matters of the Arcane. You have been very busy this evening, hunting in every dark corner of the palace. Perhaps you and I hunt the same prey. I don't know, do we? <laughs> you are being coy. I'm being careful. Not unwise, here of all places. Allow me to speak first, then. Recently I found and killed an unwelcome guest within these very halls. An agent of Tevinter. So I offer you this, Inquisitor. A key found on the Tevinter's body. Where it leads, I cannot say. Yet, if Selene is in danger, I cannot leave her side long enough to search. You can. You left Selene alone. Is that wise? I must return to her anon, but she is safe enough for the moment. It would be a great fool who strikes at her in public in front of all her court and the Imperial Guard. What's your interest in protecting Empress Selene? Are you her bodyguard? <laughs> Do I seem a bodyguard to you? If anything were to happen to Selene, eyes would turn first to her occult advisor, even if they knew otherwise. There are sharks in the water, and I will not fall prey to them. Not now, not ever. Why did you kill the agent? He might have had useful information. I would not have slain the man on sight had he not attacked me first. Why? Undoubtedly, I caught him in an illicit act. I did not know from whence he came until after the battle, and regret only that I could not capture him alive. What intentions the Imperium has here, I suspect you know far better than I. Briala's people are whispering about disappearances in the servants' quarters. This key may lead there. The Ambassador does have eyes and ears everywhere, does she not? Proceed with caution, Inquisitor. Enemies abound, and not all of them aligned with Tevinter. What comes next will be most exciting. This was no servant. What was he doing here? Does this guy seem out of place to anyone else? Is that the Shallon family crest? What have you been up to, Gaspard? Time to have a word with the Duke. Fancy meeting you here. Shouldn't you be dancing, Inquisitor? What will the nobility say? 
No doubt there's a line of people breathlessly waiting for dances with me. I wouldn't be surprised if there was. You clean this place out. It will take a month to get all the Tevinter blood off the marble. I came down to save or avenge my missing people. But you've beaten me to it. So, the Council of Errol's emissary in the courtyard. That's not your work, is it? He was dead when I arrived. I expected as much. You may have arrived with the Grand Duke, but you don't seem to be doing his dirty work. I knew he was smuggling his chevaliers, but killing a council emissary? Bringing to Winter assassins into the palace? Those are desperate acts. Gaspar must be planning to strike tonight. Are you sure he's behind this? He was too easy going for a man plotting treason. Don't let his charm blind you. He's Olesian. That smile is his mask. I misjudged you, Inquisitor. You might just be an ally worth having. What could you do with an army of elven spies at your disposal? You should think about it. What do I have to give you in exchange for this army of spies? A moment of consideration. I know which way the wind is blowing. I'd bet coin that you'll be part of the peace talks before the night is over. And if you happen to lean a little bit our way, it could prove advantageous to us both. Just a thought. Inquisitor Travellian, we met briefly. I am Grand Duchess Floriane de Chalon. Welcome to my party. Is there something I can do for you, Your Grace? Indeed you can. I believe tonight you and I are both concerned by the actions of a certain person. Come, dance with me. Spies will not hear us on the dance floor. Very well. Shall we dance, Your Grace? I'd be delighted. You are from the Free Marches, are you not? How much do you know about our little war? I assure you, the effects of this war reach far beyond the borders of the Orlesian Empire. Perhaps it does. I should not be surprised to find the Empire is the center of everyone's world. It took great effort to arrange tonight's negotiations. Yet one party would use this occasion for blackest treason. The security of the Empire is at stake. Neither one of us wishes to see it fall. Do we both want that, Lady Florian? I hope we are of one mind on this. In times like these, it's hard to tell friend from foe. Is it not, Your Grace? I know you arrived here as a guest of my brother, Gaspar, and have been everywhere in the palace. You are a curiosity to many, Inquisitor, and a matter of concern to some. Am I the curiosity or the concern to you, Your Grace? A little of both, actually. This evening is of great importance, Inquisitor. I wonder what role you will play in it. Do you even yet know who is friend and who is foe? Who in the court can be trusted? An excellent question. I might ask the same of you, Your Grace. In the Winter Palace, everyone is alone. It cannot have escaped your notice that certain parties are engaged in dangerous machinations tonight. I thought dangerous machinations were the national sport in Orlais. You have little time. The attack will come soon. You must stop Gaspard before he strikes. In the Royal Wing Garden, you will find the captain of my brother's mercenaries. He knows all Gaspar's secrets. I'm sure you can persuade him to be forthcoming. We'll see what the night has in store, won't we? You'll be the talk of the court for months. We should take you dancing more often. 
The Duchess had some interesting things to say. Of that, I have no doubt. Were you dancing with Duchess Lorian? More importantly, what happened in the servants' quarters? I heard there was fighting. I hope you have good news. It appears the peace talks are crumbling. Morrigan helped me get into the servants' quarters where I found a group of Venatori and Gaspard's dagger. The man would truly do anything to become Emperor. Then, the attack on the Empress will happen tonight. Warning Celine is pointless. She needs these talks to succeed, and to flee would admit defeat. Then perhaps we should let her die. You have an idea, Leliana? What Corypheus wants is chaos. Even with Selene alive, that could still happen. To foil his plan, the Empire must remain strong. This evening, someone must emerge victorious. And it doesn't need to be Selene. She's right. Do you realize what you're suggesting, Leliana? Sometimes, the best path is not the easiest one. You're asking me to decide what's best for Orle. More than that, whoever controls the Imperial Throne will affect all of Thavis. You cannot stop Corypheus without a decision. You must support someone, or all is lost. Then we should support Selene. She is the rightful ruler. Why would we say otherwise? Because she led Orle to this point. I say Gaspard, provided his sister is wrong about him. I would suggest Briala. She could bring true peace, not only to the Empire, but also to its elves. This is, however, your decision, Inquisitor, not ours. I can't decide this. Not yet. You must. Even inaction is a decision, Inquisitor. You could speak to Selene in the ballroom, but she won't act. Not without proof. If Gaspard is guilty, he'll admit nothing. If he's innocent, he knows nothing. We need the truth. What did Duchess Florian tell you? She said Gaspard's mercenary captain is in the royal wing. That he knows about the assassination. Which could be a trap. Or a lead. Either way, you should search the private quarters in that wing for clues. Then get me access. And in the meantime, get your soldiers into position. At once. Be careful, Inquisitor. I think I'm hurt. No one's supposed to be here. Briala said... Oh, I shouldn't have trusted her. Briala told you to come to this wing of the palace. Not personally. The ambassador can't be seen talking to the servants. We get coded messages at certain locations, but the order came from her. She's been watching the Grand Duke all night. No surprise she wanted someone to search his sister's room. This wing is sealed. How did you get in here? Easy. The door was unlocked. One of the others probably handled it. Is there anyone else who knows the code and the drop location who could have written those orders? I... I don't know. Any of us could do it, but... No. No one else would send me here. It had to be Briala. So this room belongs to Grand Duchess Florian. It used to. This had been her private room in Halam Shiral since she was a child. But this part of the palace was damaged, and the royal family moved to the guest wing. What were you trying to find in Florian's old room? The message didn't say. I should have known it was a setup. There's a reason you distrust Briala. I want to hear it. I knew her. Before, when she was Celine's pet. Now she wants to play revolution, but I remember. She was sleeping with the Empress who purged our alienage. Something like that could destroy Briala, if it were known. No. Some know she has a, a history with the Empress. 
but they believe she was just a favored servant. If the Inquisition will protect me, I'll tell you everything I know about our ambassador. Most Orlesians would say that's Selene's scandal, not Briala's. Go to the ballroom. Find Commander Cullen. He'll keep you safe. Thank you. Make her protect you, Inquisitor. Inquisitor, what a pleasure. I wasn't certain you'd attend. You're such a challenge to read. I had no idea if you'd taken my baits. I fear I'm a bit busy at the moment if you were looking for a dance partner. Yes, I see that. Such a pity you did not save one final dance for me. It was kind of you to walk into my trap so willingly. I was so tired of your meddling. Corypheus insisted that the Empress die tonight, and I would hate to disappoint him. Why kill the Empress? What does Corypheus want to achieve? Selene's death is a stepping stone on the path to a better world. Corypheus will enter the Black City and claim the godhood waiting for him. We will cast down your useless maker and usher in a united world, guided by the hand of an attentive god. Your Orlesian royalty? Why would you help Corypheus attack your empire? You think so small, Inquisitor. Why settle for an empire when Corypheus will remake the entire world? I admit, I will relish the look on Gaspar's face when he realizes I've outplayed him. He always was a sore loser. What exactly is in this for you? <laughs> the world, of course. I'll deliver the entire south of Thedas, and Corypheus will save me. When he has ascended to godhood, I will rule all Thedas in his name. At this point, I'd think disappointment was an old friend. Poor dear. You can't begin to imagine what Calpurnia and I have in store. And now I suppose you never will. In their darkest dreams, no one imagines I would assassinate Selene myself. All I need is to keep you out of the ballroom long enough to strike. A pity you'll miss the rest of the ball, Inquisitor. They'll be talking of it for years. Kill him, and bring me his marked hand. It will make a fine gift for the master. Weapons ready! Demons, it's safe. Maker? I've never seen one that close before. I knew Gaspard was a bastard, but I didn't think he'd feed me to fucking horrors over a damn bill. Duke Gaspard lured you out here. Well, his sister. But it had to come from him, didn't it? But all that garbage she was spewing doesn't mean anything. Gaspard had to be the mastermind. Your accent sounds for Eldon. I thought you were one of Gaspard's mercenaries. Born and raised in Denerim. Seems like I should have stayed there. The Duke wanted to move on the palace tonight, but he didn't have enough fancy chevaliers. So he hired me and my men. He had to offer us triple our usual pay to come to Orlais. Sticky. 
fancy cheesemongers. Want a new job? One that pays better? The Inquisition can always use a good mercenary company. You hiring? I'm game. Anything's better than this bullshit. You want me to talk to the Empress or the court or sing a blasted song in a chantry? I'll do it. Empress will begin her speech soon. What should we do? The Duchess will assassinate Selene personally. Wait for her to strike, then grab her. As you command. Let all gathered attend. Her Imperial Majesty will now address the court. My friends, we have lost much. We have each seen a child, a lover, a friend consigned to the flames. The darkness has closed in around us, but even now there is light. We must be that light. We must lead our people safely through these troubled times. We must be their guiding star. Tonight, the war dividing us must end. My friends, we are here to witness a historic moment. A great change is coming for all of us. Isn't that right, Gaspar? gone mad. No, not Gaspar. You did this for Corypheus. What a terrible guest you are, interrupting your host. <laughs> Poor Corypheus. Kill them! Thank you. You played your part marvelously. Both Selene and Gaspard destroyed in a single blow. The Council of Heralds will devour each other. And while they do, Corypheus will come. The demons of Adamant were not his only army. The Empire will fall, and Thedas with it. Not on my watch. That is precisely why I led you out here, Inquisitor. Your death will be the crowning jewel of my victory tonight. So good of you to attend my soiree.
wasting your time trying to stir the nobility against me. We are at war. I hardly have to stir them at all. Your sister murdered Celine. Everyone saw it. You're a traitor by association. What do you hope to gain, Rabbit? You can't claim Celine's empty throne for yourself. Maybe not. But I can keep it from you. You're done meddling, Briala. Gaspard will be the Emperor. You think you can keep him in power? Really? Will you sit by his throne and hold his hand to fend off the accusations of the court? You killed ambassadors on both sides to draw out the negotiations. Even if I did arrange such accidents for the ambassadors, there's nothing you can do. Lift a finger against me, and elves will rise up across the Empire. But once they find out you were sleeping with Selene when she burned the Halam Shiral alienage... He's caught you, Rabbit. The important thing right now is for the Empire to have stability. You think you did this for the good of all ill? This is a grab for power. A child could see that. The game is over, Rabbit. You played well, but you lost. Your death today will bring years of security to the Empire. Come, my friend. You and I should address the court. We all owe you our lives, Inquisitor. I will remember that. You've been a friend. I am not a man who forgets his friends. Stand with me. We should speak to the people together. <laughs> and so, the crown falls to me. This is not the victory I hoped for. I wanted this moment filled with song, not with sorrow. But I have always been a soldier. As every soldier knows, the difference between defeat and victory is how it is named. An enemy has struck the Empire in its very heart. As your Emperor, I promise justice. Orle will not allow such atrocities. Corruption, deceit, murder to go unchallenged. We will face this Corypheus. He will know the wrath of the Lion. We will fight shoulder to shoulder with the Inquisition. Together, we will send our enemy to the Maker's Judgment. Future generations will know their parents and grandparents fought to save the world. We have much work ahead, but that is for another day. Tonight, be at ease. Rest and prepare yourselves for the battle ahead. Here, at last, I find our absent hero, hidden away despite the efforts of all Orle to find you. Gaspar drunkenly toasts in your honor, Deliverer from Darkness, and other titles complimentary and awkwardly phrased. There's plenty of opportunity for that later. I wanted some air. I had no wish to interrupt your breathing, only to bring news. By Imperial decree, I have been named liaison to the Inquisition. Gaspar wishes to offer any and all aid to the one who supported his ascent to the throne. So, here I am. I had no idea you were interested in joining the Inquisition. The assignment has been given to me, regardless of my personal interest. Gaspar never liked my attendance at court. He wishes me as far from here as possible. Mayhap he feels the Inquisition a convenient repository for unwanted apostates. I cannot say. Regardless, Corypheus is a threat to Orle and to myself. Thus, I am not opposed to the appointment. What skills do you have that would benefit us? I have knowledge which falls beyond the realm of most mages. 
I suspect this is also true of Corypheus, thus it behooves you to add to your arcane arsenal, yes? Mundane knowledge will not bring the rift in the sky to a close, after all. When you say knowledge beyond the realm of most mages, do you mean blood magic? I know many obscure, forgotten, and forbidden arts. Some of it you might consider blood magic, yes? Should thought of that frighten you, allow me to offer reassurance. Knowledge alone does no harm. What I possess, I place at your disposal to make use of or ignore as you desire. Welcome to the Inquisition, Morrigan. A most gracious response. I shall meet you at Skyhold. I can't believe you escaped before me. A fat count insisted on talking about soup for 15 minutes. We can return to Skyhold whenever you like. The sooner the better. Is something wrong? Did I make the wrong choice? Should I have stopped the assassination? What's important is that the Empire was saved. You did what you thought best. We will need to put the soldiers at Skyhold on alert. Better to be safe. Wait. There is one thing we must do before we go. May I have this dance, Lady Cassandra? A dance? After all we've been through tonight? Can you think of a better way to celebrate? I suppose this isn't terrible. <laughs>